Yo, you're in the studio with on Switch, and today I want to talk to you about scoring a soundtrack for the new VR game, Distortion VR. Back in November of 2019, Jeff Outsource sent me a message that basically said um, that he was working on this new VR game, he was feeling my tunes, and um, would have liked to take a look at some footage and maybe write some music for it. So I was like, yeah, send it across. Um, he sent me across a couple of screenshots and literally a couple of 10, 20 second videos and I was just sold. I was completely blown away by the look of this game. Uh, at the time I'd been writing some, some tunes that were in a Blade Runner sort of style. I've, um, I've always loved that film and I don't know why but at that point I was watching the film sort of on, on repeat. You know, I'd watched it about a hundred times in a week and um, just listening to the soundtrack and just really trying to get a feel for, for what they were doing where, how they were placing this here and what sort of textures they were using, this kind of stuff. And then um, Jeff sent across this scene of, um, of the car flying through the city. And, and it was just like, oh my God. So, um, so yeah, I was completely sold from that very first moment. So that night I sat with the piano on the keyboard and I wanted to come up with a theme. Uh, something, something that you could kind of uh, recognize distortion with, you know. Uh, I didn't want it to be the obvious massive distorted guitar or anything. I kind of wanted a sort of an air of, of mystique to it, a little bit of intrigue, uh, but also an edge. It had to be kind of dark, it had to have an edge, and it had to have that kind of Blade Runner, Ghost in the Shell kind of feel. So I, um, so I sat and I played with a few ideas, uh, recorded a couple of, di a couple of ideas in, uh, managed to get piano, like say some strings, and I got this pulse, and I had this, this urge to use this pulse. Just this very subtle, just in the background, this doom, 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 just creating this bit of tension throughout the whole piece. And, um, and I wanted that to be like a continuation throughout the game, you know, I felt that it would, it would keep you on edge and keep you moving and keep you trying to, trying to guess what's going to happen next, you know. Um, so, so yeah, it was a, I was really happy with how the theme came out. I sent it across to Jeff and wasn't sure how he was going to feel about it because it wasn't like the stuff that he'd heard that I'd done before. Uh, it wasn't the strict dub strap, dubstep or the drum and bass that I'd be making. So, um, so I sent it across to Jeff and within a couple of minutes Jeff hit me back and he was like, yeah, this is perfect. I love it. So, um, so yeah, yeah, I was completely, completely in and completely sold and yeah, we've gone from there. So one of the first things I felt that I needed to get down was this city atmosphere. Uh, that was really important and the, um, the, the thing with it was that I wanted it to be very Gotham City sort of style sounding, you know, very Blade Runner, very Ghost in the Shell, very kind of industrial, kind of broken, uh, very oppressive, very big sounding, that was the idea, you know. Uh, crime going on, so you had the police sirens in the background, um, you have these adverts that are these massive billboard sort of style, hologram sort of style adverts, so I wanted to try and try and create this kind of feel, you know. Also with the the, the sort of hum of the city, you know. I, I went to London with my with my other half just after I'd sort of thought about these ideas. So I went to London with her and I took my, my little Zoom recorder with me and um, and recorded things like the subway, you know, like being in the trains on the subway, uh, the doors opening and closing, the general sound of the people, and, um, and walking around the city, just general sort of ambiences, you know. So I, I got the recordings, came back to the studio, and then was um, and then was listening through them and trying to trying to work out what I liked about them, what was what kind of made the sound, you know. Um, so yeah, I used the um, some of the recordings I've used in the in the city in the city sound that you'll hear when you play the game. Uh, things like the police cars and stuff I, I created using a couple of synths. And yeah, it, was, um, it came out really well. I sent it across to Jeff once again. Jeff was like, yep, this is perfect. So, um, so yeah, so we were both on the same page from the word go, which was, which was brilliant. So 
So one of the ideas I had was to choose a key and stick to it for the whole of the soundtrack. And that way then I could create any ambience and any drop and any kind of effects and they'd all just gel. It didn't matter where, didn't matter where in the game it was or, or how it was sitting in the game or what point in the game you are, you could place any piece of music over any piece of music or have any piece of music run into any piece of music. And it was gonna, it was gonna be in key, it was gonna work. Um, so, so that really worked well so far, it's really worked well, you know. And so I've created these ambiences um, for when you're exploring and that kind of stuff and then these drops for when the battles happen and and I basically put them in a folder and then Jeff can pick and choose as he wants and he can um, he can sort of say oh this this kind of ambience works well for this section and this drops really work this drop really works well for this for this bit in the game you know um, so yeah so choosing a key was was kind of a, a, a good point to start from at the beginning so something that comes quite naturally to me is to create kind of dark atmospheric sort of um, the underground sort of star music you know so I, so I'm assuming that Jeff when he came to me was looking for this kind of feel and also I'd listened to the Blade Runner like I said I've listened to Blade Runner and, and Ghost in the Shell and these kind of like these kind of soundtracks and listened to where they'd gone with it and they all kind of had this sort of this this edge this melancholy kind of edge you know but very futuristic kind of minimal in places um, but they kind of all had this sort of floating sort of edge you know um, and obviously we've got the cyberpunk thing going on as well so I kind of wanted to try and incorporate these all into all into the dark sort of atmospheres um, and that way then also when you're in the headphones I want you to feel on edge the whole time on edge like you're not sure where the enemies are going to come from or, or from what direction or, or, or what's going to happen next and that was that was one of my big goals within this whole thing uh, was to create this edge so that you, you feel you feel on edge you know, you know when you've got the headset on the headphones in you, you're fully immersed you know, fully immersed One of the things I did was I created these amb ambiences and, and I, the idea I had was to try and just make them loop, like seamlessly loop. And that way then Jeff can have, he can extend the scenes out for as long as he wants or he can make them as short as he wants and it, and it doesn't matter, you know. But, um, but I didn't want it to be kind of repetitive so I kind of had to kind of make them really floaty. Uh, so they, they have a bit of, they have a bit of arrangement to them so, so they kind of build and they kind of drop and they kind of ebb and flow. Um, but the idea was that they weren't distracting as well from the game. Um, so this is a few sort of elements that I had to really think about. And when I was listening back to the tunes after I've made them, I was like, okay, that's maybe a bit, bit up front that bit, or that bit's maybe sort of lost there, or you know, that bit's kind of pointless. So there was a lot of backwards and forwards for me with the tunes and, um, and the footage of the games, trying to get it so that it was not distracting, you know? So you can play the game and the music's there, and it's kind of giving you that vibe, but it's not, you're not listening necessarily just to the music. Um, you're more interested in, in where the game's going. Um, so that was really important to me. I also wanted the soundtrack to be very cinematic. I wanted it to feel like you were in a movie. That was, that was one of the things I really wanted to do. And, um, and for a while, just before Jeff contacted me, I've been working on these Blade Runner sort of style soundscapes. So, I'd, um, so I was in a good place with regards to the, the kind of cinematic sort of feel with the tunes and, um, and it was all sort of tying in it was like really, really well, you know, I was kind of really lucky uh, in the timing with it all. So, so yeah, the idea was for, for me was to create this cinematic kind of experience with the sound um, that you would, so you would kind of get in a movie, that was what I wanted to try and create. And, um, and yeah, I'm hoping that so far I've, I've kind of created that, you know, I'm hoping that it's gone well. So one of the other things I had to do was create things like the sound effects of the game. <clears throat> so things like gunshots, and I, I'd never made gunshots before in my life. Uh, I've made dance music for for 22 years. I, I didn't, I didn't, never had any call to make any gunshots. So, um, so I, I kind of played with a few synths, and I, I didn't want to just go and grab some stock gunshots and it just be like an AK-47 or a standard pistol. That wasn't where I wanted to go with it. Uh, that didn't seem like the rest of the game has been really organic with regards to Jeff's made everything from scratch. All of the music has been made from scratch. 
batch, you know, there's no real samples in there. Um, unless they're samples that I've created and then processed. So um, so yeah, so that was really important that everything was was organic. So I um, so I started playing with a few synths and, and sort of creating these laser sort of style beam things and I sort of toyed with a few ideas for, for quite a while, went over and over and, and just wasn't really feeling anything and I, I so I needed to kind of a bit of a bit of a help. So I went onto YouTube, did a couple of tutorials on, on gun sounds, making gun sounds, the kind of things to take into consideration while making gun sounds, things like ricochet, things like um, recoil mechanisms on the guns and um, so yeah that gave me another insight into 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 how to make gun sounds and, and where to where to start with it. So I then went back to the drawing board in the studio Studio and kind of got my microphone out, started hitting stuff and recording it in, seeing how it sounded, uh, sort of playing it against the footage, and um, and yeah, sort of came up with a few different gun sounds. Once I got my head around it and the hang of it, came up with I don't know 18, 19 different gun sounds. Put them in a folder and just thought, right, I send them to Jeff. If he hates them, then I make some more. If he likes them, then he's got a choice on what he wants to use. You know, I don't know how many guns he wants to include in the game, so um, so he's got quite a range to choose from there. Um, one of the things I wanted to, one I had to sort of work with and play with are things like machine gun sounds, um, because I'm like, rapid fire sort of gun, rapid fire sort of sound, because I didn't want them to be sort of too clunky. Um, I didn't want them to be too sort of standard machine gun sounds. You know, they wanted to have some some balls to them, but they, they didn't want to be too thin. And also with the rapid fire thing, I had to kind of create a few that I'd. I'd I'd almost um, rapid fire them on the keyboard just to make sure they were working, you know, and see how they how they sounded. And then um, I spoke to Jeff and found out how that all works within the game. And um, so in the end, I was able to make just single shots, send them across to Jeff. Jeff was then programming, so every time the gun fired, whether that be rapid fire or single fire or whatever, uh, the sound would trigger. And um, and yeah, we got we got to an even kill with it where it was um, where it really suited it. I felt. And um, Jeff seemed quite happy, so so yeah, yeah, we were once again on the same page, which has been which has been a godsend throughout this whole project. Uh, Jeff's been super open to all my ideas with regards to music. Um, he's been super open with any ideas I've had with regards to the game. Um, it's been yeah, it's been brilliant. So it's been a real so far, it's been a real real fun journey. Um, the few months that we've had on it, and uh, I've loved writing the music for it, you know. And working with Jeff has just been a dream because he's been so accepting and so open to everything. So yeah, yeah, it's been a um, big up Jeff in that sense, you know. So one of the things I had to take into account was that this was also going to be an album. So um, so I spoke to Jeff sort of uh, a couple of times about it, and, and it actually works out that it's my first solo album. So I, I, it had to be good. It, like that was one of the things in my head is that it just had to be right. It had to be good. Um, you know, it had to have that that sense of of pride about it. You know. Um, so I, I spoke to Jeff and, and we, was, we were looking at other game soundtracks and, um, and they were sort of two and a half minute sort of style tunes, some of them were slightly shorter and they basically just used like the loops of the game. So we set about putting out two albums, the first one being the, um, the loops of the game, so all of the bits that he's used straight in the game. And then the second album being the the actual solo album where they're all the tracks are full length, they're all fully arranged. Um, some of them will have sort of dance floor sort of style arrangements. Some of them will just be sort of soundscapey. But um, but yeah, it will be my first my first solo album. So it's something that I'm I'm super excited about. Super stoked to be involved and super excited about. So my last thing to add is that I am. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's watched this. Uh, thank you to anybody that's that's commented on the game in any of the comments and and sort of showed us any support. Um, that has been overwhelming, and how it's built over time has been just brilliant. You know, really, really lovely. Some of the comments on the music have been really, really, really lovely and encouraging. Um, and obviously, the game is is just looking so good now. You know, uh, it's just Jeff working on his own, um, doing all the visual side of things and the gameplay. So, um, so yeah, hat off to that guy because that he's done so, so, so well in such a short space of time. And in the time that I've been working with him, that the few months that I've been working with him, the game has come on in leaps and bounds. Um, it's looking amazing. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the game. I hope you enjoy the soundtrack. Uh, once again, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, big up. Much love.